Welcome to module 9.5. In this lesson, you learn how to connect Revit to Advanced Steel. Autodesk Advanced Steel is a fabrication tool that has extended steel modeling tools, detailing tools, and the ability to create automated fabrication documentation directly from the 3D model. The software is built on the AutoCAD platform and has good interoperability with Revit. Autodesk Advanced Steel is part of the Autodesk AEC collection and can be used alongside Revit. Before you can transfer your model from Revit to Advanced Steel, you will first need to install the Autodesk Advanced Steel extension. This set of tools allows you to import, export and synchronise models between Revit and Advanced Steel. The dataset required for this part of the module can be found on the YOLA website. You can either click the link in the description of this video or scan the QR code. Go ahead and open up Project A for Advanced Steel. The model will open in the 3D view. This particular model has more connections added in and you can see we have a combination of standard connections in Revit and also custom connections where we're connecting the steelwork back into the concrete elements. Before we transfer this model to advanced steel, we'll first need to hide the concrete elements. To do this, in the project browser, under the Schedules and Quantities folder, go ahead and open up Material Takeoff. Here, we'll select the first two rows, Concrete Masonry Units, and we'll hold down the shift key and select concrete cast in place C40. This will in turn select the elements in the model. If we switch back to the 3D model tab, you can now see that all of the concrete elements have been selected. We'll now go ahead and hide these elements. Let's right mouse click in the background of Revit and we'll go to hide in view, elements. Now you can see there are just some piles to hide as well. So we'll make a selection of these, right mouse click and again, hide in view, elements. So we're now left with just the steel elements that we want to transfer to advanced steel. Before we transfer this to advanced steel, we'll first need to configure some settings. The advanced steel tools can be found on the add-ins ribbon. So let's click add-ins and on the add-ins ribbon, you'll note here we have advanced steel extension. If we click on the pull down menu, you can see that we can export to advanced steel. We can import from advanced steel. We can synchronize the settings between Revit and Advanced Steel, and we can also go into settings. Let's start settings. In the settings dialog box, we want to export views based on the view settings. So essentially that will just export what we see on screen. We would also want to export the grids. And here you can see that we can ignore beam cutbacks and extensions on the export. I'm going to leave that as is because we want those cutbacks to go across to Advanced Steel. And also here, you can see that we can disable the joints for beams on import, and I'm gonna have that on. We'll click OK. And we're now ready to export this to Advanced Steel. To do this, let's select the Advanced Steel extension and select Export. In the Export Utilities dialog box, you can see that there are two options. We'll actually use the advanced export, which is the default, but you can see here, if I select other formats, we could in fact save this as an SDNF file, or in fact a SimSteel file, CIS2, or PSS. But in this case, we'll select advanced export. The country library is UK, and we can just simply click OK. We're then prompted to save the file. You'll note here that the file type is a steel markup language, so .smlx and we'll simply click save. The steel markup file will then be exported and saved. Okay, so that concludes this lesson on exporting to advanced steel. In the next module, we'll learn how to import this into advanced steel and then start to create some fabrication documentation.